Hey everyone, happy Friday. Tanner Cherney up here in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Checking in with your weekly fishing report. Unfortunately, not on the water this week. Um, it's been a blustery one and a wet one. We've got about an inch and a half of rain Monday-ish. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, decided to blow 30 to 40 miles an hour. I mean, something we're used to. There's more, not, more windy days than non-windy days up here in this part of the woods. But uh, nevertheless, we make the most of it. So. Just wanted to check in, give you guys an update on conditions, water levels, water clarity, how things are looking and uh, what the bite's kind of shaping up to be. So first thing is the lake level is officially just about 1451. So you know we went into last fall at about 1447 and now we're flirting at 1450 and a half, 1450.8. So that's almost a solid four foot rise in the last oh, three months or so here when the ice started coming off. It's a lot of water coming in, and with all the water coming in, the water clarity is definitely something you're noticing throughout the basin. Um, a lot of the northern areas, north end of Pelican Lake, Six Mile Lake, some of those areas where a lot of the water's, the first bit of runoff hits the lake itself, is definitely dirty. So when you're up there right now, there's a big difference between finding gin clear water and finding the dirty water. Um, some places you may drop your jig or bobber down, you might only see two, three inches in, and there'll be other areas where you'll see six feet, seven feet down to bottom. So trying to find that happy medium where it's maybe two to three foot of clarity, seems to be about the sweet spot right now where we do find a lot of those active walleyes. Um, water temps are sitting anywhere from the low 50s to low 60s, depending on where you are in the lake. You know, it seems like it could be pretty warm, but when you think of the general rule of thumb, Devil's Lake is a very shallow lake, lake throughout the whole basin. So when we do get some of these warmer days, um, which have been few and far between, it doesn't take long for that water temp, especially in two to three feet of water to rise pretty quickly. Last week we were sitting in five and a half feet of water pitching into a foot and a half, two foot. And that seems to be where most of our walleyes were coming from. And just to kind of show you guys again, I just went and picked up some more plastic. So here's just a simple quarter ounce jig with a moxie paddle tail on there. Um, from Bee Fish and Tackle. Great lure, a lot of different color options. I got a bag full of all kinds of colors from white, pink, purple to this light bluish color, um, chartreuse. There's a lot of different options out there. And quite frankly, every day is different. So if you can get yourself a variety of those and a variety of jig heads, you'll be sitting pretty good. But the other thing I wanted to emphasize is I did go pick up some new fire line. I love using braid. Um, I've got all my jigging rods and pitching rods ready but it won't be long before we'll start to transition to that trolling bite with bottom bouncers and spinners or butterfly blades. And uh, kind of figured while well, I have a little downtime with some crappy weather, I might as well get those tied up. Uh, but things are looking great. Once we get this little bit of cold snap, this windy crap behind us, we'll be back at it, get you on the water, give you guys an update. But again, right now, find that mediocre clarity water, five feet and under, pitch a jig with a paddle tail, or get a bobber and we get some leeches. The leeches are starting to become more readily available. Finding some bigger ones, that's a good ticket. What I like to do is the one-two punch. Troll the shoreline, pitching jigs, pick up a walleye or two, spot lock yourself, anchor yourself, and start throwing bobbers out there and double down. So thanks for following along. If you get out this week and share your adventures with hashtag Devil's Lake ND, and we'll keep you updated next week.